Hello folks, today I'm going to give you a quick lesson on a really easy way to season your cast or spun iron frying pan. So you may notice I've got a couple of spots appearing on the pan here, where, and a big one there, where perhaps I've cooked too many tomato based dishes in here and it's stripped it back. So what we want to do is start off with a little bit of hot water get some in the pan then scouring pad I know most people say never use a scouring pad on a cast iron frying pan but you need to to get the residue of food and stuff out of there so that you can put your next layer on so I'll just do that quickly okay and in doing that you can see the water is quite dirty now so we'll take that away see that's quite dirty so what we've done is we've stripped it back to bare metal in these parts, but also in these parts here, we've stripped it back to where well, we consider this is a good coating of the seasoning. So as we're at a good coating now, what we've got to do is dry it. So we're gonna turn our oven up to six on the hob or whatever gas you would use. Mine's like, well, that's starting to heat up. I'll just use a tea towel, one that I don't mind having to put in the wash, and get this nice and dry. Okay, and there we have it, all nice and dry. You also need to clean the sides and the underside and give them a good sort of wipe down as well. And as you can see, it's all dry. So you can see there's a couple of spots where there's not as much coating or very little coating, for example, right there. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna put it onto the heat right here. And we're just gonna make sure that it's nice and fully dried out. Because it's hard to kind of get the moisture from every single part. So we're just gonna absolutely get that completely dried out on the heat. Then we're gonna take grapeseed oil or flaxseed oil. We're gonna rub a thin layer onto this with a piece of tissue. Uh, perhaps attached to some tongs because this will be hot then this is the bit that I do differently to a lot of people um, I don't have a massive oven and this does not have a detachable handle so this won't fit into my oven so I pop it under the grill and what that does is heats it evenly you put it in upside down obviously and that will stop the oil from pooling in there and that will heat it nice and evenly and then we'll have a nice decent coating again ready for me to cook some fried eggs this morning. Okay, so as you can see, it's got quite a nice shine to it now. And we've got a good coating on everything. Now you don't want it too thick. I use just grapeseed oil. You just want a little thin coating on there. Because believe it or not, the multiple thinner coatings is better than one thick coating. And again, you want to make sure you get the underside of that. So now into the grill. So as you can see, this has got a rather large handle on it and it kind of sticks out, but it's in the grill. You can see it in there. And I'll leave that in there probably half an hour with that direct heat on it. I'm also about to cook some gammon, that's why the oven's on, I'm not just wasting electric. And I'll show you the result of that in a moment. Okay, and here's the finished product. You have to do this a couple of times, ideally up to 10 really, to get a good coating of oil on there this oil in the middle because I'm about to make some fried eggs. So that is my easy sort of cheaty way of how to season a cast or spun iron pan. Quite easy to do it this way I think and uh, you don't need a huge oven either or you don't need to specially remove the handles things like that. You can just do it under the grill. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, if you have please leave a like, comment, subscribe and check out my Patreon. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.